It's time for some tweaking! Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is finally here and it's time to tweak the visuals using a reshade. So the first thing we do is go to the reshade website, link is in the description. Scroll down to the download and download it. Next up is to open the reshade installer. It's good to open as a admin. Then browse for Microsoft Flight Simulator.exe. Select DirectX. Make sure to uncheck all shaders except the first one and the bottom one, which is the legacy shaders. Then hit OK. You can uncheck all of these. Next is to select which legacy shaders we want. If you are unsure about which shaders your preset is using, simply check all of them. If you are using my new MSFS uh, Elite Pack, then follow the included uh, image. So, simply select the shaders that's on the image. And you can ignore the reshade UI. Ones, um, since those are applied automatically so when you are done yet just hit OK next is to set up the settings so I usually set my screenshots path and then you can uh, copy or cut and paste the presets. I'm using the Steam version of MSFS, so I go to my Steam library. As you can see, and I place it in the root folder of MSFS. And then I browse for it in the reshade uh, settings. And we are almost done. It's time to fire up uh, MSFS and set up the last bits. So when we are loaded, hit the home button on your keyboard. And then we just follow the tutorial in reshade. tab and you can set up shortcut keys you can choose whatever you want and maybe print screen shortcut key and I always disable the screenshot message notification so and that was it pretty simple huh and remember, MSFS Chris O Design Elite Pack will be available right now on my website. And the link is in the video description. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope that this video will help you out.